All right, welcome to the Earth. So this presentation, this is going to be just me going through the presentation. You can watch this video and go through the presentation, or you can go through without me. It's up to you. Um, but I do want you to know that on each of these slides, actually, if you look down below, there's actually a lot of extra additional facts about all many of the different slides. So if you want to learn even more, it's already written there. But if you want to watch the video, awesome. All right, <clears throat> so as we go through the video. So this main picture of the structure of the Earth, this is what the Earth looks like, pretty much what you were told in fourth grade. Like, look, there's four layers. There's the crust, there's the mantle, and then cores, the inner and outer core. Those are just combined in one layer. So that's the, this is the very simplified picture of the Earth. But really, it's a lot more complicated. Let's look. Okay, so the crust. So we know we live on the crust, and this is important. We live on the crust. Humans have actually never been below the crust. Whoa, that might blow your mind. No, we've never actually traveled below. We'll find out more about how do we know what's going on below us. But of the crust, there's two kinds of crust. There's continental crust. So that's where continents are, and it's pretty thick. It's very thick, but it's this old stuff that kind of floats on top. It's this old, like, crusty bread floating on top of the mantle. Um, and then the oceanic crust is underneath the ocean. So underneath the bottom of the ocean, it's actually, there is crust there, and it is still thick, but it is very, very dense. It has all the weight of the water pushing down on it. So it's very, very dense. But this also is young crust. This is crust that has just recently risen out of the ocean, um, out of the mantle. So we've got two kinds of crust. Continental continents are very old, but they're floating up there. Oceanic crust is very young, but it's very dense, very heavy. And now this is the layer you might not know about, but it is so important and awesome. This is the lithosphere. Yay, lithosphere. Um, so the lithosphere is the is a combination. It's it's kind of a bridge between the crust and the top part of the mantle. So it's kind of this in-between layer because there really is, there's a bottom edge to the crust. And the mantle has this kind of upper edge to it. So this upper region is the lithosphere. So think about it being like an egg. If you try to peel a hard-boiled egg, it's kind of got that like membrane attaching it but before the all these pieces of the shell before you get to the white. So that would be what the lithosphere is. It's kind of like that membrane in between. So the lithosphere is this upper edge of the mantle. It is part of the mantle, but it's also kind of considered part of the crust as well. And this is very, this is very solid. And it's got, this is big, huge, giant rocks. And that's what we call our tectonic plates. All right. And then the other new one that you might not know about is the asthenosphere. Practice saying the word asthenosphere. You can come up and tell me this is connected. Asthenosphere, yay! So the asthenosphere is the upper part that's very gooey. So it moves around, it flows. This is where you have convection currents. The core things, mantle gets warmed up by the core. The core is very hot, so it rises up to the top. And then it cools down and sinks, just like the lava lamp. It goes very slowly, but it is moving. And that movement in the asthenosphere is what causes plates to move around. This is what creates earthquakes and volcanoes and mountains and shapes our Earth. So the asthenosphere is gooey. This is Play-Doh. We are sitting on top of Play-Doh or Silly Putty. And we're sliding around. That is the asthenosphere. So that's referring to what I was just saying, is that the mantle, the, all the asthenosphere gooey moves around, and that slides those big lithosphere plates all over the Earth. Um, so from that point on, those are, the, those are the layers that are new, the asthenosphere and the lithosphere, and we, got, we can see them over here. Um, and these other ones are ones you've probably heard before. So mantle, what's the most important thing you need to know? It's really big. If nothing else, it's thick. It's very big. Outer core, most important thing you need to know, it is liquid. Outer core is the liquid. It's flowing around. It's really, really hot. But most important thing, if nothing else, you need to know it's liquid. And then the inner core, what do you need to know about the inner core? It is very hot and solid. So we go solid, liquid, solid, solid. There we go. So that's the inner core. Um, if we, drew, we kept going all the way down from the surface, so there's actually this really cool thing, this mohorivic discontinuity. That's the technical term, if you want to learn it, for the bottom edge of the crust. It's pretty cool. So as you go down, it gets more hotter and hotter and hotter, and then hotter and hotter, and it's really, really hot. So that's just kind of showing you temperatures, how hot it gets. 7,200 Celsius is pretty hot, how deep it is, and how we've got that liquid outer core. All right, so and for all of these questions you might have, because I'm talking way too fast, the links in the presentation are to more videos and kind of letting your brain wander off in directions. There's a lot more videos that explain this in a lot more detail, so I highly recommend visiting Khan Academy and watching the videos there. 
Um, and this, can you repeat all of that? It does a really much better job of recapping everything I've just said. All right, so your final activity with us today, what is this plate tectonics? So this is what I was talking about with the lithospheres, these pieces of the lithosphere. There's 12 major pieces, major cracks. You can see this red line. Those are the cracks in the lithosphere. And they're moving all around. So these arrows show which direction they're moving. So look at that. The Pacific Plate is going that way, and North America is moving here, and South America is going that direction. And oh my goodness, what does this mean? It means there's going to be a giant hole. The Red Sea is where the plates are getting ripped apart. It's kind of crazy. And so they're moving and sliding and crashing into each other. And that's why we have earthquakes and mountains and all those other good things. So your task today is I'm giving you a puzzle, jigsaw puzzle with all the different little pieces on Earth. And you get to put them together. And I will have a next video. We'll have instructions about how to color them in and how to put them together.